Cool. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, again, on this lovely Hello. Friday. Um, I'm just going to share my screen so that you can all see it. And then we can get going. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Yes, we can. Cool. Okay, guys, so the journey that we've been on over the last couple of weeks has just been understanding strengths and the philosophy and the reason behind it and then doing your assessments. And then yesterday, we really sort of spoke about how to embed that in assessment and the terminology into your day-to-day -day life and your day-to-day -day work life um, and really sort of um, bring it to life, so to speak. Um, and today what we're going to talk about a little bit is, is talking about using your strengths in a team. So um, I know it's obviously a little bit different for you guys because you're not sort of a, a typical team in that you don't all work together on a day-to-day -day basis and, um, you know, aren't all working towards the same objective. But, um, you know, I do think, and particularly just like Ian was saying, uh, talking about supporting each other and, you know, these are crazy times and I think everyone needs as much support as they can get. So, you know, you guys have got a group of people around you that, you know, you can leverage. And um, so what we'll do today is sort of go through just showing you what everyone else's strengths are and then do a little bit of insights into what the team dynamic is with the strengths and then um, try and show you what you can use if you decide to go down the strength journey when you're building your own team and how it looks and how it can how it can really strengthen your organization and strengthen your team and your management um, by leveraging other people's strengths and, and looking at what everyone else has got to offer. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I don't think today will be long um, because I think we've covered the sort of the meat of everything and um, yeah, so it'll just be going through the, the grids and everything and then doing um, a little exercise. Okay, so just one thing I, I do want to, to keep recapping because I, I do think sometimes people are like, oh, my strength is so lame or it's not as cool as this one or, um, you know, just remember that we're all unique and there's no right or wrong combination uh, or strength or, or anything. So just always remember that part of why, well, the human race succeeds, although it doesn't feel like we are at the moment, but... Um, is that we're all unique and we all bring something different to the table. So um, just remember that all, you know, when, when you're going through your journey and when you're recruiting people, when you're working with other people, everybody is different and there's no better different. Um, so I just wanted to recap. Um, and again, I'll send this all to you um, after the session today. Um, but about the four different domains and each of the 34 themes, so the different strengths, are divided into the four different domains. And, and what I've done is I've tried to sort of map your grid um, in the colors. So you can sort of get a feel like visually of where you're sort of most lying in executing or strategic thinking or relationship building or influencing. Um, and so just to recap, executing is you know how to make things happen and you work really hard to get it done. Uh, strategic thinking, it keeps you focused on what could be and can help you make decisions. Relationship building, obviously, it's the glue of holding people together. And influencing, it helps you reach a bigger audience. So just as a little summary, that's sort of the four domains. And then with the colors, we'll see the grid. Um, so basically what I've done is I've put all of you here with your five strengths. Um, and I've color mapped it so we can sort of get a feel for, for what it looks like. Um, now, what I find pretty interesting is how many strategic thinkers there are. Um, but, and we can go into a little bit more, but looking at the relationship building, how that seems to be, seems to be fewer. Um, and uh, quite a few of the, of the actual themes some people don't have. And you'll see a couple of them are, are a lot you know, more and more of you have them. So I'll give you um, a minute or two just to look, look over it. Um, and again, I will share this with you after the session. Um, but I think it's quite, a, quite an interesting picture um, to sort of have a look at. And it's quite cool as well when you're working with each other and, and you know, look at the opportunity to 
to partner with someone or you know mentor someone i sort of mentioned earlier about the opportunity of of tapping into other other strengths that you might not have or um that you feel are opposite to yours so um you know look for look for opportunities to do that um with other people so um i will share this with all of you um so that you can refer back to it but um i think it's quite a cool picture all in all um yeah and a couple of um sort of different different mixes and sort of outliers which i think is great so um yeah as i said i will share this with you um and i just wanted to go into the insights bit because this is what we're going to look at when we go into our team exercise um and i've done this about the number of people so as you can see i've obviously split it into the different domains but the most of you have the strength and the strategic of futuristic um, which is pretty cool and sort of makes sense in terms of thinking of the future in that um, and for me the strategic domain seems to be the the bulk of what where your strengths are lying um, and the relationship building is is the less uh, you know the lesser one and to a degree executing as well they're quite similar I think relationship building is a little bit less but i found that quite interesting particularly the the executing part given that you know that's something that you guys are obviously having to do on a day-to-day -day basis being entrepreneurs um so that for me would be quite an interesting dynamic when you're looking at building your own teams um and and looking for opportunities where you can partner with other people um as well as the influencing and the relationship building, you know, not, not trying to close gaps, but trying to form a holistic picture. Um, again, there's no, obviously no right or wrong, um, but it's quite a, quite a cool, quite a cool sort of way to look at it and sort of think, okay, cool. Um, I haven't got this in, in, in my team, or maybe we can look at that or it's an opportunity to partner with someone. Um, a couple of the strengths nobody has, which, you know, obviously isn't unusual. Um, and nothing I think too, you know, too shocking or wow. Um, although um, I, the communication one I also found quite interesting under the influencing because again, part of your job. So I think some of you might um, struggle to, to do that sort of part of it. But, you know, as I've said previously, if something is part of your day-to-day -day job and something that you have to do in order to be successful it doesn't necessarily have to be a strength even if you don't enjoy it because you just have to close a gap in order to succeed so that it doesn't hold you back and um, so for me maybe that would be communication would be would be something um you know that that would fall under that sort of that sort of realm um i don't know if you guys have got any questions about this or this isn't clear or um or, or anything or any yeah, anything that you're not clear on. If, I think just to add from my side, having done this a couple of times, a few of them, there's a lot of overlap in some of them. So, and, and some are sort of almost proxies for the other ones as well. So for example, for, as social entrepreneurs, you would think that some of you would have some empathy. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows that you know, the empathy is zero. <clears throat> However, if you look at if you look at individualization, connectedness, um, I forget some of the other ones that I've, I've looked at. Those are all indications um, of, of 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 really understanding people, seeing people as individuals, understanding their needs. So there's empathy is kind of built in there. Yeah. So don't don't think that none of, none of you are. <laughs> heartless unfeeling <laughs> people and likewise with the communication a big yeah. thing in strategic is the ability to communicate is the ability to put your thoughts into words and choose your vocabulary carefully and those kind of things so yeah as always these aren't completely unique silos that don't overlap at all so just just understand that yeah yeah, completely. And, and I think it's an also an, an important insight, again, not to define yourself by something. So just because it says maybe empathy is not your top strength, it's an example. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you're cold hearted. It, it, it's just probably intrinsic and you, you have other things that show. So 
don't yeah and as i said there's no strength or you know that's that's right or wrong it, it doesn't change who you are you know if you are positive about life anyway and you view the world as glass half full but positivity doesn't come it doesn't mean that you're not a positive person so um it just means that you have other strengths that can can come to light in other ways Um, okay, guys, so I'm going to go into a little bit of an exercise. Again, it's about, um, it's a little bit of, of a different sort of dynamic because you, um, what we're going to look at is as a team thing, but I'll put this, um, maybe I'll put the other, the, the team grid um, up. But um, I want just to, to go into an exercise quickly. Um, um, just to, and you can we can talk about it over the phone, or Zoom, if it's easier, um, or we can, if you want to do it on your own, um, and then share back. I, I'm sort of not sure what's what's easier for you guys. Um, you know, it might be easier just to unmute and have a chat about it rather than um, doing it individually. It being a group thing, um, and and just sort of just looking at insights. Really, what you think? What are the most common? Are there any talent gaps? Um, anyone who has unique things, anything that you notice, and an opportunity for you to partner with anyone, or, um, you know, let's call it out now so we can set something up and you, know, you guys can have a chat about something or share some info. Are you guys happy to talk through it, um, or would you prefer to, to do it on your own? Um. We could talk through it. Um, I think cool. it's much better that way than doing it on all. Okay, I think so too. Okay, so I'm going to put the grid up. I've got the grid up. Um, is this more helpful or do you prefer the graph to look at if you're looking at inside? So is it nice to, to no. know who's who? The, the grid is better for me. Okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah, so guys, this is basically everybody's top five theme. Sorry, I know Zintla had some connectivity issues, so um, we can populate hers when you have it. Um, but yeah, so any thoughts, any opportunities to partner, anyone standing out um, who's got only one, you know, the only person with a, with a, a theme or a strength? Um, hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so I just wanted to find out from Porsche what what Wu stands for. Uh, winning others over. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm a <like> Greek flea. <laughs> that Wuhan. Porsche <laughs> <laughs> should be very unpopular. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Um, I'm seeing one from Nundumiso where she's a, a good learner to on theme one. Yeah, a lot of us are learners. Um, there is Uluvo, Mbangiso. Yeah. Um, Notebo. Yeah, I've got a couple. It's, 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 a, it's a common combination. I sh I'm just trying by the question, like in terms of when Pete Power is asking how can we partner? It's a question of like partner when doing what? Um, <laughs> well, well, not necessarily partner. Just if, you, if you want to just share something or you have an idea or you're struggling with something, um, you know, is there an opportunity to say, cool, um, you know, Porsche's top strength is woo. Um, and that's an influencing one. And I don't have that in my top three. Maybe I could ask her, how to try and get somebody to buy into my idea or share insights. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like a, not a just a peer relationship really. And, um, you know, everybody has other strengths and, um, and other skills even. So just an opportunity to, to, to share really and, and give your thoughts on, on, on something different. Cool. Okay. Oh, I, I, I know. 
I'm not in this um, grid, but for me, it's really interesting to note that like Tabojo has got um, like two relationship building and three strategic. Um, and then like Mkaniso has got four strategic, so, like cheapest brains of the group. Um, so to me, it's interesting to see these things because then mm -hmm. like if any of you then need help with strategy, then you like, you can use this as a tool to see like whose brain you should pick or if maybe some people need help with executing like Linda Kukle has got two with executing which is the most of the group so cool to see it like this mm. and you know it's also again if you guys go on the journey in terms of um building your own team it's quite nice having a grid like this just to sort of to sort of see, and again, you know, I asked you that question about does a good team member do whatever it takes for their team? And the answer is no, they leverage their strengths. So this could be a good opportunity for you as a manager to say, cool, um, you know, um, we really need to to build our intern. Let's ask Juliana to, to be the, the mentor because developers is his number one strength. Do you know what I mean? So mm. you can use it like that. It, it, it doesn't need to define your decisions by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but just sort of help give, also give each other an opportunity to build their strength. You know, like we spoke about yesterday, it takes practice to do all the time. So look for opportunities to give that to other people so that you can help build them as well. And they can build their strength and you can get something out of it as well. It's a sort of different way of thinking. Yeah. I think also just, just from a, a sort of a requesting for help perspective, um, it's, you know, if you've got a, a really big task ahead of you, um, mapping out your route to market, say, for example, and, and you know, um, obviously you've got quite a lot of strategic strengths, but um, executing and relationship building might not be your strongest strengths and you know that this is a big task for you and it requires both of those things then you know if you you look at the group obviously but also that might be something to sort of notify us and your coach about saying you know I know this is not my sort of natural area of expertise so it can kind of help inform, um, you know, when you are strategizing about some big things that you might be planning within the business, just to be aware of where you might require that additional support and sort of lean on your peers. And of course, um, which actually ties in nicely to what Ian was saying a little bit earlier on, but also to, to um, us and your coaches as well. So I think this could come in quite handy when you do chat to your coaches um, and you might want to fill them in about what your, your strengths are. And um, it might inform some of the big things that you have been, some of the big themes you've been chatting to your, to your coaches about. Because mm, just analyzing, <clears throat> sorry, um, just analyzing my, um, my, my grid, I'm seeing a lot of, um, strategic but i'm not seeing a lot of relationship building so that um, i'll really need some sort of someone to actually um learn from especially looking at Porsche and tebuko who've got quite a few who's got two two actually two blocks of relationship building yeah, yeah so i think it's using that sort of them. yeah that sort of insight and, and not again not to say that you you can't do it but um, it's a different way of thinking in terms of building relationship building. So it's something that sort of comes naturally to them. So you're like, cool. Um, I really, I'm trying to get in here and I'm struggling. Do you have any, you know, any suggestions because it's a natural strength for you? So it's, mm -hmm. you know, what, what I'm talking about in terms of partnering and, and, and trying to, to leverage each other's strengths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has, this has been a sort of confirmation uh, in some of the, the partnerships I've had with some of the, the friends here. For example, uh, Porsche. Porsche has sort of linked me up to a few people who are helping me. So I think just winning people over, I'm realizing it now, but somehow intuitively it was already working for me. Um, 
even Tulani is very good in input when I need to, I need information sometime like independent sort of assessment. I, that's the person I speak to. So some of these um, qualities, the strengths of, I, I, I guess for me, I've been using them already and tapping into that within our network. That's great. Guys, any other insights or thoughts or, um, you know, shout outs in terms of someone that you want to, to lean on or you, I mean, you can obviously do that on your own, your own time if you're more comfortable. Um, as I said, I will share this with you um, and then I'll also share the, share the graph so you can sort of just get a feel on, on, on what the whole group looks like. Um, and again, it's sort of fairly useful to use if you're building a team so you can get a feel for, for what your team strengths look like as well. Cool. Gosh, we're racing through today. Everyone's on Friday, go, go fast. Um, so literally, um, just, this is like the last slide, but I just wanted to recap about do's and don'ts for, for the strengths. Um, it really, it's a tool for development for you to grow as we've spoken about. It shows you your natural way of thinking um, and what you're passionate about. And, um, and it's cool because you can talk about it as a group. You're like, aha, I can see your woo. You know, um, it, it's quite a fun one and you can sort of see it where, where, um, when you're working with people and, um, and you talk about it, you know, as a group. So I think that, um, I think that it's important to, um, sorry, Sham, Sinclair just said her phone was frozen, but she's fine. Um, so, and just to sort of remember that, you know, and, and keep using it. And, you know, when we spoke about yesterday, how it becomes part of your day-to-day -day life, um, it's, use it as a language when you're talking to other people. Um, and, and so just keep bringing it to life. Um, and I've mentioned it before, it's not a right or wrong or good or bad. There's no best. Um, and it's not an excuse not to do something. So just because our relationship building isn't in my strengths, I'm not gonna build a relationship, no. That's, that's not, no, well, it, doesn't, it doesn't define you, you know, it's not, everybody is very complex and they're 34 th strengths and your strength six, seven, eight, and nine might all be relationship building. So um, it's not a complete explanation of who you are. So, um, you know, please just remember that obviously when, when you're going through, but um, yeah, so yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it um, for today. Um, I know that we've sort of gone through a whole, you know, a whole journey of the strengths. Um, but I, I really, um, and I'll send you a link to Gallup as well. I really encourage you guys to go onto the website. It's very cool and it's very user friendly. And go and like they've got videos for each each strength. So if your strength is input, go and watch the input video, and um, because it also brings it to life a little bit more because it's a real person talking about how input, how they use it, and how you know how it comes to life for them. Um, so, I, you know, I think that sort of stuff is really nice. Um, and also if you are working with someone or, and you sort of aren't really clear on maybe what woo is or strategic, um, you're like, oh, let me go and watch the video because then maybe it can bring it to life for me. So, you know, talking about how you see others and, and that sort of thing. So, um, so please use that because it's a tool available to you. Um, it's obviously free. So, um, so yeah, um, any comments or feedback? I'm sorry today was so quick, um, but yeah, it just sort of is what it is. <laughs> um, obviously it would have been nicer to have done it in a room and we could have really deep dived, but you know, I think you guys have really understood the, what we're doing and, and how we get there. And um, I think it was a good idea to sort of break it up so it wasn't too overwhelming. Um, yeah, so any questions? Yeah, uh, hello. Hi. Yeah, I think from my side, um, it's, it's really shaping the way I recruit team members. Um, I'm realizing where I'm weak, I'm very weak. And I've been trying to sort 
so it's probably like a two out of ten. I've been trying very hard to get it up, but it ends up being a two point five. So it's just better for me just to get better guys that can complement my skills. I've I've noticed that that the strengths actually are more sided to my talent. So it might take discipline. I'm very disciplined when it comes to the actual project. You know, the actual executing of the project, the welding. But then I suck when I have to do the paperwork I'm part of it and I don't execute and I can drag it for a long time. So it's it's more strange linked to the to the talent and to what really excites me and it's it's shaping how I, I should get team members. So it's more than what the person is qualified for but really they 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 talent and I think they should do this course before they get the job. I mean, I also like, I think it's a, it's a good philosophy, but I mean, I also don't think like, I think you, rather than sort of spending money as a recruitment tool, um, you know, you can get a feel for, for someone. So maybe you sort of find a list of questions and see how they naturally answer them. Or you sort of say like, how do you conceptualize an idea? And if they struggle to answer it, then maybe strategic thinking isn't their strength, you know, but they might have a need of a million people because they're great at relationship building. So, you know, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily spend money on the tool. I would try and find other ways to, to, to get a feel for the strengths. Um, because I think, again, people will show you a natural talent um, throughout an interview process. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it's a great, particularly when you have a smaller organization, to have different strengths and different people complementing you. You know, a room full of people that are the same, you're going to get no debate, no discussion, and no variety. Um, it's always, you know, in the old fashioned world, we had a bunch of old white men trying to sell products to, you know, young black people and who just, they just didn't get it. So um, I think it's important to have, to have a really, a really complementary team. Um, you really get what you can, what you're doing so you can, be better and more successful. Perhaps may I add to that, um, yeah. uh, Linda Kutle? Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say now that you know what everyone else's strengths are as well, in the recruitment process, because it's such a big, big thing and such a big commitment, now that you know who your, um, what the strengths are of your fellow Durbanites, you could maybe invite people to, to sit on the panel of the interview and you, you know, who who uh, complement your sort of, um, who are stronger at certain things that you're not, maybe get them on the panel so that they can help sort of, um, yeah, kind of uh, identify the gaps that you might not, not have seen. I think that's something that's super beneficial. And again, you know, it's available to you. There are great people um, in your network in Durban on this group who can really help you um, so we've seen that happen with a couple of our alumni and um, just in terms of inviting other people to sit on their panels when they are interviewing. It's such a, you know, it's such a massive um, responsibility and commitment. It's nice to be able to share that, that with your peers and get their sort of insight as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think recruitment as a whole, it's always a good idea to have a second, even a third opinion on something, you know, so often you can either just, I mean, I, I think the click is important and you'll have that because you're going to have to work with them. It's really nice to have some, you know, a second opinion because you might have a little bit of doubt and then the second person's like, no, that person's a total lemon, doesn't work, you know. Um, so I, I, I always, I think panels are a great idea. Hi, Perps. I have one question. Um, so I was thinking like just kind of what you said uh, just now about, you know, like are there certain questions that you can ask in interviews? Like to me, what would be so helpful if like if you had one or two questions per each of the four, um, what do you call those things? Like four uh, do yeah, domains, quadrants. yeah. 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 Um, so like one question maybe so that you could evoke that out of a candidate that you're interviewing or maybe like a, a scenario where you say like, okay, this is the scenario, what would you do? Um, mm. So that then like, if you know that you're looking for someone in strategy or in relationship, mm. then you can both ask them a question and ask them like a scenario to 
hypothetically execute. Oh. I can do that and I'll send it to you. Thanks so much. Because um, I mean, for me, that'll save then, like if a person hasn't done the strings finder, then it's a quicker way to obviously yeah. determine. Yeah. So my child nearly opened the door and I had one of those BBC situations. <laughs> we would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, guys. Well, I think that's it for me. Thanks for the session, Pips. It's, uh, it was amazing. It's kind of hard sometimes. To... I mean, we don't get to see the, what do you call it? The screen we want to see or like on your, on your paper, uh, on the chat that you were showing. So that I could ask questions, but um, since you're going to send it, I yeah. might send them on email or something like that. But thank you so much. The session was really amazing. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, again, just from our side, Pips, thanks so much for doing this. It's, it's so valuable for the guys. Mm. And I just think for you guys to know that Pips is always available as our sort of HR consultant, if you like, um, or specialist, so that if you've ever got any recruitment issues, HR issues, just, just general sort of people issues. And she's got a much broader skill set than just that HR, just, just anything around developing, developing people, developing culture and organizations. So she's always on top. So if you ever feel like you need to, to chat to her, obviously let, let's coordinate it through, through Lynn. Um, just so, just so <laughs> Pip's phone isn't ringing off the hook the whole time, <laughs> but she is absolutely available. She is absolutely available to help you on that. Front. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. Cool guys. All right. Have Thank a good day. Much. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, team. Thanks so much, team. Pleasure. Have a good Thanks one, guys. Thanks Have a great Bye. weekend. Take care, Bye. everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care.